Are you living a double life? Awareness is the greatest agent for change. Being aware of ourselves in order to be able to be honest with ourselves in what kind of part of our life are we completely not being real? Are we completely not being transparent? Today's video is going to be about my experience and how I am seeing with different clients are going through feeling stuck, feeling that you're being fake. And I feel like this topic, it can be very relatable for a lot of people as we go through life and as we change and evolve. Sometimes we are stuck or find ourselves in situations where we cannot be who we really think we are or maybe we don't really know who we really are. And this has to do with a lot of situations that has happened in our life, a lot of experiences that have made us close our heart, that have made us not trust in people, or that have made us feel like we have to lie in order to not look bad in front of others. Do you find yourself controlling or trying to manage your emotions? Do you try to be someone completely different in front of certain people? Do you feel like you cannot be yourself in front of some people because you actually care about what they think about you and you don't want to look bad? Is what others think about you really taking over your life? Do you have trust issues and are you pretending to be someone that you're not just because it's a habit? Are you really evolving? Are you changing? And you are trying so hard to stay in a comfortable way of that who you know you are, but deep down you know that you have changed and that you're not who you used to be and that it's time to show who you really are? If all these questions have resonated with you, then come on in, come on in. Welcome. Namaste, my humans. This is Katy Mendoza, expanding consciousness in a fun and adventurous way. And here we are. I'm going to share a little bit about my experience about living a double life and then I'll go over about some of the psychology of why I found out and why I saw that I was being this other person that I was not. So my name is Katy Mendoza. For those who don't know, I used to be an exotic dancer. I have experience being exotic dancers for over, I did it maybe for like a year and a half on and off so yes i was being a completely different persona i used to be a different completely persona of who i am now before my spiritual awakening and before i started doing all the things that i do now and that i am in love with that i have passion for that i can be who i am without caring about what others think right and in that process of changing the persona a lot of things fell down in my life a lot of people came out of my life a lot of habits had to go out of my life i was literally peeling an onion to really find out who really was inside of the whole onion what was really inside and the reason why i'm really sharing this experience is because i find it very very powerful because i seen how a lot of people are evolving right and how a lot of people sometimes we live a double life. And in this situation, I um, when, when I first started dancing, I was also a personal trainer. And, you know, I went to the dancing thing out of necessity, right? And then I got stuck in it. And then I got stuck with all the habits and stuff. And then I created a persona. I thought that I thought I was. I was having literally an internal conflict. So I was being this person at night and I was being this other person during the day. I wanted something out of my life. I wanted to become this woman, but I was doing the completely opposite to become the woman that I, I used to say that I wanted to be, that I used to portray myself to be. 
I was faking. I was being fake. I was lying. And I was not only lying to the people around me, but I was lying to myself. Deep down, I wanted something so bad. But I was being comfortable continuing being my old self, with my old habits, with my old, the people around me, without changing, without making the changes that I needed to make in order to be who I said I used to want to be. And you see this a lot in people. Sometimes we desire something, but we are not willing to let go of the mask of the person that we had to build to be in order to to survive. And this is just an example out of my example, my experience. But I really want you to think, who is it that you really want to be? What is it that you really want to do? And what are you doing now? Is it completely different what you're doing now than what you really want to be? Are you a completely different person of who you really see yourself as being in the future? Are your actions connected with your desires, with your thoughts, or your desires and your thoughts are way, way separate than what your actions are today. Are you being fake to yourself? Are you faking it? The one most important thing that I, I found out throughout this spiritual awakening or whatever you want to call it, is to be true to myself. And sometimes when we are true to ourselves, we find out a lot of things that we don't want to find out. We are, we are in the survival mode of acting, of being someone, because we care so much what others think and we don't want to look bad. We are scared of failing. And failing is just as good as winning. Because when we fail, when we get hurt, when we make a mistake, it's an opportunity for us to grow to really show who we really are instead of hiding it. I also see how many people, and in my experience as well, sometimes we tend to close our heart not to get hurt. We tend to become this persona, I don't care, you know? And, and what we're doing there is that we're closing our heart and not being vulnerable. We don't allow ourselves to be vulnerable with a person because of an experience that we have been through before. We don't want to get hurt again. So we tend to be this person, but inside, all of that that's really showing, of being this kind of person that I don't care, that, that, it's just a mask of how weak actually we are inside. Being vulnerable is actually a strength. Really showing who you really are is actually a strength. Knowing that we don't always have to be strong, knowing that we don't always have to act like we have it figured it out. That we can be true without really letting the outside world, what other people think, really affect us. Being transparent with ourselves and knowing, yes, knowing the work that we need to do still to become who we wanna be, but no faking it, no being unreal with ourselves or with others, because what we're really doing in there is just we're not being true to ourselves. And sometimes we become this persona and we make this act that even we believe that is truth and it's not truth. And it, you know, in one of in my, in my in my four week program, one of the things that I tell my uh, my students to do one of the homeworks is to become aware of their thoughts to become aware of who they change around because that is, this is the first thing and so and what a lot of people find out is that when you start becoming aware of yourself you start finding out how full of shit we can be sometimes how full of lies we can be sometimes and so that we make lies just out of a habit because we don't want to look bad in front of others and it, you know, realizing this about ourselves, it's it, it can be very uncomfortable. But what part of your life are you pretending to be someone that you are not? What part of your life or parts of your life are you neglecting yourself from feeling because you're scared of 
getting hurt again? What part of your life are you holding on to say what you really feel, what you're really ex expressing what you you really want to express because you don't want other people not to like you because you don't want other people to think bad about you when was the last time that you sat with yourself and observed your thoughts and observe who you really are and realize the things that you need to change and you don't want to change because you're scared of change are you doing a job that doesn't fulfill your soul? Are you just taking the easier way out in life? Because you are scared of the unknown? Are you trying to control situations? Are you trying to control relationships? Are you trying to be the one in control so everything goes okay? So nothing goes wrong? Are you preventing yourself from actually feeling because you're scared of getting hurt? Are you lying to yourself? Are you acting like you are strong when inside all you want to do is cry? Are you numbing yourself with people, with drugs? Anything can be a drug, not just the actual drug. Just not to feel what's really inside and not to deal with yourself. Become more aware of your patterns. Become more aware of yourself. And I, for me, I think this is what this is spiritual awakening is. Is to become real to ourselves, To get in the uncomfortable realization of how full of shit we can be. To take responsibility for it. And to start cleaning up our mess. Cleaning up the lies. But first, everything starts with ourselves. What face, which life out of those two lives do you want to keep alive? And this process should be with love. This process should be with ease. Don't be hard on yourself for all the bullshit that you've been through before. Because everything that we have done before, a lot of times have been out of un being unconscious, out of a habit, out of protecting ourselves. But now that you are becoming more conscious, if you're watching this video, if you feel connected with this video, it's because you're becoming more aware of yourself. And you're tired of being something that you are not. And what does it feel to have your heart closed? It's trying to control situations and control others. It's trying not to feel. Being scared of being hurt again. And I'm saying that love can be a beautiful thing and experiencing love and stuff. And being hurt sometimes is a beautiful experience. But you will attract someone the same as you. So if you're closing your heart, if you're not opening up your heart to feel, to just be with the truth, if you're not honest with yourself, if you are saying something and doing something else and not being true to what you really feel in your heart and what you really want to do and who you really want to be with and all of these things, you're going to attract someone that is the same. Someone that is also lying, someone that is also hiding their feelings, someone that is also scared and that wants to control you as well. Because we attract what we are. So if you start doing your inner work, if you start being transparent, if you start cutting off the person that you have been lying to, that part of you that is not true to your soul, then you will be able to attract someone that it is the same. But every starts, everything starts with yourself. You cannot have what you don't are willing to give. So if you keep your heart open, I mean, if you keep your heart closed, you're going to attract someone the same way. And you're going to keep living in a lie. You're going to keep lying to yourself. You're going to keep lying to that person. And that person's going to keep lying to you. And that person keeps lying to himself. And the whole cycle just goes and goes. If you're not willing to open your heart, then what are you doing? Then that tells you that you're not ready to open your heart and that's okay. 
that takes you back to yourself, to work on yourself before being able to give your heart to someone else. Understand that we are all living our own reality, our own dream. When someone else judges you, they're judging actually themselves. Don't take it personally. Don't worry about what others have to say about you. You're living this life for you. And you want to be real to yourself without caring what others may think because this is your life and you can live it the way you want to live it. Understand that you don't have to be someone that you are not and that raising your consciousness, your awareness is about really peeling off that on you that it's not as comfortable to see all the things that we have there but it's taking responsibility and not using other people to make us feel better about ourselves. And I'm gonna finish this video with asking you this question. What would you have to do to start erasing that part of yourself that is not real, that part of yourself is fake? Do you have to man up, face it up? Do you have to stand in front of the person that you're lying to? That person may be you or that person may be other people in your life. Do you have to start being honest and saying the truth? Will that make you cow cows lose a lot of people in your life? That's taking responsibility. And to stop creating a lot of baggage for yourself and becoming free. And understand that the other person that you were living at the same time, it can be just your shadow. And your shadow, we all have it. You can make peace with that part of yourself. You can love that part of yourself. You can forgive that part of yourself. You don't have to hide it anymore. And how do you start? By like letting go of control. Letting go of control means being with the unknown and that's what scares a lot of people. Because you don't know what's gonna come. You're just floating in the unknown and that's when you trust letting go of controlling the situations in your life and just flowing like the water, letting, letting things come, letting things go as they are. Trusting that everything and everyone that is supposed to be in your life will come up. You just have to be ready, being true to yourself to attract people that are being true to themselves. And it's never late to start your new or to combine those two right life into one and become who you really always wanted to be. And thank you for watching. So just continue being more aware of yourself. And that's the first step. It's a long journey of change in my experience, I can say. But it's worth it to become who you really are. To own your story, to own your mistakes, to share it because there's people that can use that story and get motivated by it so what is your story what kind of two life have you been been living thank you for watching comment down below if you want to express and share how you are struggling with living your two life or what's going on in you is your heart closed whatever you want to share don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon namaste